Well, questions and a few concerns after water tests reveal elevated lead levels in Springfield Public School buildings. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Landis. And I'm Lauren Barnes. Springfield Public Schools reports high levels came from the sinks in classrooms and some from water fountains and water bottle fillers. Fox 49 City Miranda is live outside Weller Elementary after speaking with the district and also a parent today. Sydney. The testing is part of the Get the Lead Out of Schools Drinking Water Act. Samples from 25 out of 27 buildings released recently show lead samples above the state standard in at least one part of the building. We want to make sure that the water um, that, that our staff and students are drinking is as safe as we can possibly make it. Springfield Public Schools started taking water samples in November and finished in December. We went from, um, you know, not testing um, sites to now a new mandate that was three times as restrictive as what the EPA guidelines were. Results from roughly half of the buildings were released in January, which show Robertson, Weller and Studi having drinking fountains, whether a standalone or attached to a sink with unsafe amounts of lead. The district says it is working on different ways to bring the levels down. That could be um, changing out the water, um, the fixture itself. It may mean that we have to install lead filtration. SPS also took water samples from non-drinking outlets like sinks and science classrooms, and many of those results also showed elevated lead levels. Once the communication went out to the schools, um, our team has been working diligently uh, to, to make those corrections. But some parents are still waiting for results. I hadn't heard anything about this. So I found it really interesting um, and worrisome. Sarah Berry has an eight-year-old daughter who goes to Jeffries Elementary School. It's one of the schools SPS is waiting for lead level results to come back. With half the results posted, Barry says she's concerned levels could come back higher than state standard of five parts per billion. A lot of the schools have older infrastructure, and I think that that's maybe... Um, something that's an issue in, in Missouri as a whole. Fremont and York showed safe levels. Boyd only had one elevated, slightly elevated sample level. You can find the full list of results on our website, ozarksfirst.com. Reporting in Springfield, Sydney Moran, Fox 49 News.